you are still watching Ways. National Civil Services Day is celebrated in India on April 21 every year. It is a day to commemorate the contribution of civil servants towards the development of the country. On this day, civil servants across the country are recognized for their hard work and dedication towards saving the people. And I think that this is one holiday that we need to take seriously in Nigeria because I feel like the civil service is very underappreciated. No, this is actually for India, but then I'm saying that, that we also need to yeah. start celebrating our civil servants in Nigeria as well. I think it's very essential. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know that these people are not particularly, I would say, appreciated in this country. But then, yeah, Uti, what did you find for us in the news today? Um, okay, so my headline, actually, I, I, when I saw this story, I actually thought, wow. Um, I hadn't heard anywhere, I hadn't seen it anywhere else on social media, um, but I thought it was just amazing. So my headline says, Gamma, uh, well, Mr. Easy earns big in Vidya's $1 billion backed acquisition. So Vidya is the music distribution company that, of course, is backed by Mr. Easy's Dagadat um, Capital, which is a venture capital fund. Uh, that the pop star has backed. And basically, this is their first, I mean, this is a massive exit, guys, at a at billion dollars, right? It would mm. be um, it's just something that has to be celebrated. I mean, I know the first time, of course, knowing Mr. Easy's music, um, but I know the first time that he really crossed my radar. I, I'm not big on pop culture like that, but first time he crossed my radar it was that he was dating... Um, Timmy Otedala. Um, Thank you so much. And it kind of felt like a mismatch. But then as I started to learn more about him, um, his background, how much biz, like the guy is just amazingly creative. He's done so much in the industry yeah. that I think really doesn't get spoken uh, enough about um, outside of the music side of it. Uh, and this is just one of those huge wins. I mean, it doesn't tell us exactly how much yeah. uh, of that money he's going to see. But just the fact that this is a major, major exit for, for a VC to be able to get this, especially in the entertainment industry. And I mean, when I saw this, I was super, super excited because you just know that, you know, once one happens, it, you know, it yes, could potentially yes. open the floodgates. And it really just shows that we have young, amazing Nigerians who are doing fantastic things and just wanting other people to be encouraged. And I mean, if I tie that into our topic today with, with career transitioning, I mean, it's just the fact that we can see so many opportunities um, around us and how we can key into them. So was, this story just was totally exciting for me. Uh, thank you so much, Uti. I always say that Mr. Izzy is one of the smartest um, Afro-pop, Afro-beat musicians that we have um, in Africa right now because you can you one would think that because he's he has some affiliation with the Ote Dollar family he would yeah. be you know so laid back and whatnot but then you see he's actually pretty hard working as well. Okay Mary what did you find for us in the news? Um our president Mohamedou or our ex outgoing president <laughs> President <laughs> Mohamedou Buhari has thanked Nigerians for tolerating him through the two terms he spent as a nation's leader. Speaking in Abuja on Friday, April the 22nd, the president also asked for the forgiveness of those he may have hurt in the course of doing his constitutional duties. He says, thank you for tolerating me. I consider myself lucky to have been a governor, minister, head of state, and now president for two terms. I can't wait to go home. I deliberately, I deliberately Arranged to be as far away as possible from you people, he said. <laughs> the headline alone is even cracking me up. Thank I you mean. for tolerating <laughs> me. And he says he plans to be far away from us. Well, so we thank him. We say. thank him too. <laughs> let me not even say what else. We thank him too. Yeah. We're grateful. It's a new era. It wasn't great having you, but okay. Moving on. MJ, <laughs> what did you find for us in the news? Yeah, so my what's in the news is about the teen who was shot in the head for ringing the wrong doorbell. Um, Ralph, Raphael, the 16-year-old who was shot twice in the head for ringing the wrong doorbell in Kansas City, Missouri. Well, we can see that he's been pictured, he's recovering at home, and he's surviving um, 
the traumatic um, events that occurred, you know, for just making a mistake and going to the wrong place, being at the wrong place at the wrong time. And um, he's still recovering from a brain injury and we're hoping and praying that um, he recovers fully. And we pray, uh, we also hope that the law, we're still waiting to hear um, what the Kansas City police um, is going to come up with from their investigation. And if charges would be, if there will be charges for the um, for this, you know, incident, if there will be any any if the man who was who actually committed the the act would be charged to court, and if he will be going to jail or if he will be serving any time. So it is good to know that he was uh, the boy was able to actually survive this uh, the event. And he's leaving to tell the story, so it's quite, uh, I can't imagine what he would have been going through, but or I'm really happy that he's alive and he can tell the story. Mm. Yeah, thank God he did yeah. not, we didn't lose him, thank God he's alive. Okay, so uh, my story today, <laughs> Elon Musk finally did it. He finally took away the blue tick. He has been telling you people since that people will start paying $20 for this blue tick. People thought he was joking about verification and now verification tick gone so following the removal of the blue tick from twitter accounts of thousands of public figures nigerian entrepreneur tony elumelu and singer peter okwe have reacted to the disappearance of their verification badge elon musk had on thursday followed through on his final date for the removal of the free blue badge and a lot of public figures like Pope Francis, President, former President Donald Trump, Justin Bieber, Katy Perry, Cristiano Ronaldo, Tony Numelu, they lost their blue tick on Twitter today. Um, I mean, he's just telling us that he's not joking. If you guys don't want to pay for the verification badge, then forget about it. But then, but then, what does that mean for every other person? That means you can. It's yeah. not. It's no longer. It's by not your amount of followers yeah. anymore. So as long as you can afford it, you pay to get verification. You don't know how you feel about that, right? <laughs> yeah, because I feel like the the amount of followerships and then the the blue tick, yes. and now if you make it just anybody, mm. is also going to be a case where the same way people can buy followers, you can now buy the blue tick. You know, so I mean. For the creators industry, I don't know how, because everybody is going to be a creator mm -hmm, now. No. Uh, well, I guess a different set of metrics will Which come about, will come up, yeah. most definitely. Okay, so like I said earlier, today we're discussing career and personal finance. But first, let's go on a break, and when we come back, we'll continue the conversation.